What's up, guys? Welcome back. See, whenever I shower, I put my hair back, and the little baby hairs like to show up. You see? It's so annoying. But I guess I gotta live with it. How have y'all been? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me clean my camera. Okay, that's better. Um, I've been good. Thank you for asking. Well, my week has been really rough. Um, anyways, we're back and we're better. Um, I think it's time I make another video. I think... I'm debating on doing this, but, you know, I think it'd be some cool content to, you know, talk about. Um, so... People texted me. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna talk about the beginning of my life to now. Boom. Straight from the beginning. We're just gonna talk and talk and talk. Okay? Talk to you about my life. Even though some of y'all are not interested. <laughs> But I'm going to do it anyways so that y'all get to know me a little bit better than before. Yeah. So, obviously I was born May 2nd, 1999. Like I told y'all. That's the day I was born. You know, the wonderful day. Um, and I don't remember much after that, obviously. Well, I do remember my grandmother, Kathy Morgan. She passed away when I was four or five. I remember that. It was tragic. It was a very hard time. My dad was very close. It's my dad's mom. And yeah. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. Okay. It was my dad's mom and it was a really hard time for my grandfather and for everybody. I do remember that. That was very, very clear. After that, my sister was born. Actually, no, my sister was born during that time, but yeah. Well, my sister was born, Kathleen, and that was the worst time of my life. No, I'm just kidding. I love my sisters. I love them. Uh, but that's where my childhood, my only childhood ended, and I was no longer an only child. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Love y'all for that. Anyways, um, yeah, my sister was born, and I had a friend. I have a forever best friend. I have two, three forever best friends, my siblings. Anyways, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Um, my parents, no, 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 rewind. Then my other sister was born. I don't remember too many memories back in the day, you know, but, you yeah, know, I'm just gonna pull out the ones that I do remember. I remember my grandfather. <laughs> oh man, this was probably my favorite part of my childhood. Every single holiday he would go him and my grandmother would go all out like i'm telling you all out they would have giant like wood uh what the heck characters that's what it is characters like the grinch winnie the pooh like all that stuff and i know my when i was a baby my crib was full of winnie the pooh i know that um and I only know that because of pictures <laughs> that I have of myself when I was a baby. Um, but yeah, he would always, like during Halloween, he would have this giant spider on the ceiling and like Christmas, he would always have these dancing characters like Santa Claus, the Grinch. He would go all out for holidays. That, and I do remember, I would always walk around and like talk to them and like pretend like, like they were real life characters, you know. And yeah, that was, I miss those days so much. But you know, things come to an end someday, so yeah. Um, so my dad started an oil field job and he, we moved around a lot. I'm saying a lot, which is why I'm here because of my dad 
I'm not saying it's a problem. I met so many friends across the United States. It's crazy. Um, and I still do talk to some friends from fourth grade, from third grade, and, it, and it's, it's kind of nice. But it's just hard that they're so far away, you know? Anyways, um, so after my parents split up, I don't remember when that was exactly. I was probably like eight or nine when they broke up. And um, we moved to New York. My dad had a new girlfriend um, and she was pregnant with my little brother and they eventually got married. But after I moved, I only stayed in New York for about a half a year, maybe a little longer. I don't really remember. But after that, we left and we moved to Pennsylvania. And I, I, I still talk to the friends from there. Um, yeah. Then after Pennsylvania, we moved to West Virginia. And that was when I turned 13. Um, I, still, I still talk to people from there too. Um, not everybody, but mostly. Um, let me tell you, it is so nice to you know, have a conversation with someone from your childhood that, you know, I still have pictures of like my first dance getting ready at my friend's house. And I actually still, I, I had a best friend named Jordan. We still talk. She has a baby now, a beautiful baby boy. And he is the cutest thing. We were like this, like so close. And I mean, we still are, but you know, we haven't seen each other in like a few years, like five years. Um, but yeah, after West Virginia, we moved here to Texas and we've been here ever since. Um, I started high school here, started middle school, and now I'm here. Um, I have had so many memories and so many destinations. It is crazy. Um, my life has been crazy, but I would not change it for a thing. I don't see my mom, but that's more personal. Um, I've learned to live with that. I will eventually see her again, but I have my dad and my sisters and so many friends here in Texas that I, I'm fine, like, honestly. I don't see much of my family because they all live in Florida. That's where I'm from. And I mean, I talk to them, you know, I, I have them on Facebook, I, I keep in touch, but it's been a long time since I've seen my family. But yeah, um, I've just learned to live with it. You know, there's nothing you can really do, but just accept it. And I have, and my grandfather is actually moving down here soon and I'm so excited like y'all don't even know how excited I am to have my best friend with me he is my best friend he really is um he's been going through so much and he just he needs to be around us you know his his son and his granddaughters and he knows we'll take care of him but he's he's a strong man so I know he's he's fine Anyways, um, and yeah, I have my, my boyfriend, um, maybe my future husband, I don't know. We're next month on the 19th, we'll be three years, we'll be together for three years. And I, I'm so grateful for him, I really am. He's, he's my, he's my rock, for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much my life in a nutshell nothing interesting um but yeah so <sighs> i mean it could be better could be worse you know um i still have both my parents and actually one of my good friends madison just lost her mom and it has been such a hard week she was such an amazing woman she will definitely be missed Everyone's gonna be okay. Whatever you're going through, you're gonna get through it, no matter what. Um, 
and if anyone ever needs anyone to talk to just you can add my Twitter I will add you back and you can message me we can talk whatever like I don't even care I don't even care if I don't know you if any of y'all who watch this are struggling or going through a hard time just hit me up you got my social media in my bio you know what to do after that so yeah I'm an open book Whatever you want to know, I am open to it. Um, there should be more content. I think, I don't know what I'm doing this weekend, but I'll try to make more content for y'all, but it's just been hard, you know? Um, so yeah. Um, what else do I need to put out there? I know I know, Papa, you're watching this. I know you are. I need more subscribers. That's the thing he told me. He was like, we need to get you some more subscribers. And he's right. I do. My life is just boring, you know? I mean, it's not boring. Just sometimes, you know? Sometimes I can never find anything to talk about. Or, like, any challenges or anything. Because, I don't know. I feel like I'll look stupid, <laughs> but I don't care. Don't care what people think, you know? That's all, that's all it's about is positivity and confidence, you know? So, yeah. 2019 has been amazing. Many blessings. Um, can't wait to see what else comes my way. Um, let's see. What else? Spring break is coming up. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's a fair coming to town too, so I can take y'all with me to that. And I'll probably take y'all to spring break. I'm going to go see Kevin, blah, 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 Kevin Gates in a concert. And I'm going to see Co Wetzel and someone else, Cody Johnson. Yeah, I am super excited, like can't even explain it, so excited, but yeah, that's all I have for today, um, I know it was boring, but I just kind of wanted to talk about stuff, so I just found stuff to talk about, <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, oh my gosh, that's so dark, you see that, what the heck? I swear. Okay. Well, anyways, um, I hope y'all have an amazing night. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back soon, guys. Peace out.